get ready to welcome students back to class. They want to be prepared as possible. The schools do, the teachers do, and this is not just with books and supplies, but with updated safety plans. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is in the studio now to show us how one school district is doing that. Sherry, St. Clair County school employees got together today to learn about how to keep kids safe from the moment they get on the bus every morning. We got fire sprinklers and fire exits and fire alarms and fire trucks and fire drills. Half the cost of build, school building goes into fire code. We got to devote some of that effort to keeping our kids safe from violence. That was the message Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman delivered to a packed church Monday morning. They've got to understand the, the threat and the things that they can do. It's empowering. It was a message St. Clair County School Superintendent Jenny Seals needed everyone, from teachers to bus drivers to law enforcement, to hear. We all need to be aware of the safety for our kids. Get out of there and have a plan. Grossman gave advice on how schools can keep violent intruders out, and educators like Deborah Allred took note. Keep the doors locked, to keep the classroom doors locked, to always um, Make sure the students know to run, fight, hide. And as an educator, Allred realizes these measures might not be what parents are used to. She just asks that they remember why those measures are necessary. We want to make sure our buildings are secure, our doors are locked, um, that parents understand when they come in our school to not be mad at us about the, that our doors are locked, that they know that it's for the safety of their children. Superintendent Seals said she will be working with administrators and school resource officers to update those safety plans across St. Clair County schools. Live in the studio, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.